Assalamu alaikum everyone welcome to the 23rd episode of journal with me let's get started so first of all i'm taking the handmade papers i made on my last video and you can check it out if you haven't and here i'm gluing them on the two sides of my journal so one thing you have to keep in mind and that is these papers absorb water really easily and as my liquid glue is you know watery that's why it's absorbing a lot more glue and it was taking a lot more glue than usual so keep that in mind and after that i took a moon cutout which i found inside a magazine and after that i'm sticking some green kind of colorful papers from my old paintings i don't like them anymore that's why i'm just tearing it up and using here in my journal and after that i'm taking a kind of pastel memo pad and i'm sticking it in this way inside the previous papers and then i'm sticking the moon cut out on top of it and beside that i am sticking another memo pad of pink color like this and gluing it down so these are all of my collection which i have from my school magazine and i just searched my magazines and searched all of these pictures out honestly these pictures help me a lot while i do journaling and you can find these kind of pictures in any calendars or magazine and you can get it for free obviously and that's why for me journaling is really affordable you can do it if you have different kind of pages and papers so anyway i just chose a star starry kind of picture and i glue it down on the left right lower corner and on the left side i am using some pages from my biology book from my previous year which i don't need anymore and then i'm sticking it down and after that i'm just trimming the edges if you want your journal edges to be you know uneven you can leave it like that but i like it to be even that's why i'm just cutting the excess and i'm choosing another moon kind of night sky and i'm sticking it on the left side upper left side of the journal and after that i'm taking a purple gel pen and i'm writing the song lyrics which is fly me to the moon so here after writing it down i'm cutting the words each words like this and after that i'm arranging it and after that i'm gluing it down and then i am using my alphabetical stem to write the half the rest half of the lyrics which is let me play among the stars on top of the pink memo pad that i've stuck earlier and it's completely all right if you don't have this alphabetical stamps you can write them anyway using a pen so after that i'm taking the same purple gel pen to draw some little stars beside the lyrics and then i am going to move on to the down part of the journal and here i'm using a black marker to draw a moon face here so here i'm basically drawing four moons at the left side and four moons at the right side and on the middle there will be a full moon so you can find these kind of illustrations available they are available in google and it comes in different kind of colors but i love the classic black one that's why i'm just using the black marker for this you can use or draw it with any color so after that i move on to the texture of the moon and here i'm using a white correction ink or pen for that and you can see that these inks are also getting absorbed by the paper so you can get an idea how much these papers absorb liquid things and after that i move on to the top of the journal and here i'm using three colorful marker pens to give a color palette of the journal it basically means that the color you have used more on the journal spread on your journal spread you can use those three colors or two colors to create color blocks on your journal spread so that's it that is the thing that i did and after that i am using a black gel pen to draw some leaves and vines they are of different kind of colors and patterns i am doing this basically to fill up the empty spaces and this is my last minute idea because whenever i don't find anything to draw or i have to fill any empty spaces of my journal i just draw this kind of leaves and vines so this is one of the tip for journaling from me and after that i'm using the black marker to draw some grids behind the moon cutout and then i'm using the stitching effect that i do always and then i'm making some frames around the words and then i'm giving some dots with the black and the purple marker here and there randomly and then you were done with the spread 
and these is the close-up of my journal spread and by this you can see it in more detailed way i am very happy with my journal spread because i was wanting to do a journal spread based on moon theme from a long time and finally i got to do it and share it with you guys i really hope that you guys are getting a basic idea of how to start journaling so the first step is just to arrange it and then stick it and then move on to the decoration part you can use different kind of quotes your favorite lines or write down your feelings on your journal and you can make your journal in any theme you like and you guys can comment down below about what kind of themed journal you want me to make i will definitely try to make one please like share and subscribe thanks for watching